Hey guys, Dr. Shook here. Hope you're doing well today. So it is um, Monday morning, about nine o'clock, and I'm sitting in my wife's car. So this morning we go outside, she gets in the car, we, she's taking both of our kids to school, and she goes to crank the car and it won't start. So she's stressed because there's about 15 minutes to get my son to school, it takes us about eight minutes or so to get there. Um, she's stressed, my kids um, are looking at us like they don't know what to do. And uh, my wife's feeling feeling some stress, and I, you know, we we've gone through a few things this morning. We got everything figured out. You know, we jumped off her car with jumper cables. Um, I had her battery checked out. Now, right now, I'm at her work, waiting on her. We had to be creative on how she, we were going to drop the kids off, and and so what what ends up happening is I noticed, and this is something that I've noticed in my personal life too, is that when something comes up, a stressful situation, you have a choice on how you're going to respond to it. Okay, it's really important to understand that. Like you, you have a choice on how you're going to respond, and I'm sure you know this has happened to me before. And you know, um, I'm not ashamed to say it, but I feel like you know, reflecting on it, that it's something that we have to we have to be aware of. Like, so, for example, you know, I know that you know my kids. I've got young children, four and eight, and I know there's times when I've raised my voice and I've I've thought after the fact, why did I do that? You know, what why did I respond? to the noise or what was going on the way that I did. And and in every situation, you have a choice on how you're going to respond to stressors. And it's really important because, you know, we know that when we're trying to heal, we're trying to get better. If you're if you have autoimmunity, if you have Hashimoto's, uh, if you if you have um, really any chronic disease process, stress plays a role. And the way that stress affects your body is that when you when you are under stress when you have emotional stress and you have a choice on how you're going to respond I promise you you can step back from the situation and you can you can think before you react emotionally before you pour a lot of emotion and and um, and really drive yourself into a more stressful state and and it's really important because when you do that when you when you when you let yourself become very stressed when you when you have I would say an overreaction um, you you drive up your cortisol, your stress hormone cortisol. That creates a lot of problems for you physiologically. It creates a lot of problems for your thyroid hormone. It creates a tremendous amount of of uh, of, of problems for your GI tract, your barrier systems. Like it can promote leaky gut. It can promote the it can promote and impair the the repairing and the regeneration of the mucosal membranes, which can promote leaky gut. So there's there's all these things, and then not to mention, you know, if you're really, you know, if you react inappropriately, then you can also damage your relationships. So it's really important to understand some of those things. I mean, you you have to, uh, you you have to, you have to focus on the fact on like, okay, we've we've got to think about, you know, and reflect on how we respond to situations and not let ourselves get out of control. Now that didn't happen today, but I was just thinking to myself, you know. This is something that's really important that we need to talk about because, you know, really reflecting personally, you know, one of the things I've seen whenever I am most volatile right, with my mood is when I, it's when my blood sugar's low. How many of you guys become hangry and then you're like, it's like a powder keg, right? You're, you're, you can react to anything that your, your loved ones say, your, your husband, your wife, your kids, anyone that says anything, they can be, you know, on the receiving end of a really bad attitude. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got it. We've just got it. This is really important thing to understand. Um, it's a really important thing to understand. You have a choice on how you're going to respond to things. I know it doesn't always seem that way. It seems involuntary, but you. I, I know that most of us have can look back on situations where we're like, man, why did I react the way that I did? And um, and and know that if we could go back, we would have done it differently. So it's also important to apologize and to. You know, um, if I raise my voice and like with my kids, I feel horrible, and so I always try to go to them and say, you know, I'm sorry for what I did, I'm sorry for the way that I spoke to you, and um, you know that was not the way that I should have reacted, and I'm sorry, and you're important to me, and that kind of you know, and really, you really let them know, right? And and I know that's that's kind of a side, but it's really important because if you have inappropriate responses. It's it's also can be very damaging to your relationships, and it's very important if you've done something 
that you feel is you reacted inappropriately. Listen, even if the person's not receptive, it's important that you make that effort because carrying that guilt, carrying um, and letting someone else carry resentment, you know, you've got to you've got to try to bridge that gap and to apologize. I, I promise you, the the emotional component is important. Um, the stress, because we know that there are different types of stressors, right? There are emotional, there are physical, emotional stress, which is what we're talking about. There's physical pain, which drives a stress response, and there's also chemical inflammation that drives a stress response. All this has negative consequences on your, your cortisol and your, your stress hormones. So while I'm waiting on my wife, she's meeting me here with my car, um, I would just wanted to share this with you guys because I think it's a really important lesson that we don't talk about quite enough, and I want you guys to um, just remember to be kind to yourself, be kind to other people. If you're not, don't hesitate to apologize. There's no nothing's gonna wrong is gonna come from that. Okay, you're you're, you know, um, I think that's just a really important lesson. So um, something that will help you to heal. I promise you, you cannot carry resentment and and anger and stress and feel great and vibrant and be the person that you want to be. I promise you, you can't do it. It's very difficult to do that. So we have to find ways to heal ourselves. And sometimes it's going to be easier. Sometimes it's going to be much harder. Um, but <clears throat> the emotional component is really important. So anyway, I appreciate you guys. I thought I would jump in here on a Monday morning and show this lesson that I'm just reflecting on while I'm waiting on my wife. hope you guys have a wonderful day. If there's anything that we can do for you, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. But I'll talk to you guys again soon. Thanks.